to FTB season 3 or 4. I'm actually losing track of all the seasons we've had with all the resets and all the stuff. Um, I've been working a little bit here. As you can see, I've got some stuff ready um, for our first episode. Now, here, I have a plan because it's a pretty extensive plan. It's a long term, pretty much. It's something that will pretty much last for an extremely long time. It will maintain being fun. I decided I'm not going to use anything Iridium except for Quantum Pants. Um, just because those things are really nice. Mm. And everything else I find is kind of overpowered. It makes the game not fun or too easy once you have it. And it's just a grind towards getting it. So that's what I'm going to try and stick away from. And my goal is to automatically farm everything you possibly can. Everything. Um, in fact, one of my ideas for power is based on netherrock. Um, if you mine netherrock... Uh, you can actually, um, then, uh, I don't think there'll be very much of a profit, but, like, you can, you can, you, you can get gold and coal dust and all that, but you can also use the coal dust to make diamonds from nether rock. Um, what else can you do? Um, th I know it's not fully automatic, I'd have to set up a quarry. I want to have fully automation, fully automatic, um, um, pretty much tin, copper, iron, Anything that's kind of rather easy to make. Um, but starting off is just pretty much a really simple farm. Um, um, so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up something to automatically process items now. I have a pretty good idea of how I'm going to do my base. So it's going to look like I'm building this floating in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but once once, once you, once you, we kind of get into this more, maybe around episode 5 or 10, they're going to start to see what I'm doing, and I think it's going to be really cool once this idea kind of takes off. But um, first of all, I have to light the area up, so hopefully we don't get any creepers blowing up all our machines. Um, these machines weren't really expensive. But still, you know, it's no good to have things blowing up all over the place. Not to mention the holes in the grass look really bad. Alright, so let's make it facing this way. This is the direction you're meant to look at this farm. So let's start out by doing this. Um, pretty much once these chests fill up, I'm going to pretty much link this up. And then items will start coming through here. I don't even have a jetpack yet, by the way. Um, <laughs> I know it's <laughs> it's rather sad I don't have a jetpack, but um, I don't mind, personally. Um, okay, so how this is going to work is the goal of this farm is going to be to automatically smelt down items. Oh, there's still a villager alive. That's pretty impressive. Is going to be to automatically smelt down items. Now, I'm using an induction smelter, so I don't have to actually go through the pulverizer stage. But we'll, what I will need is I'll I'll need lots of I'll need lots of uh, sand because an induction smelter uses sand to automatically break things down. So that's going to go in through the top. Now, this is going to be helpful that jetpack. So the top is yellow. So this needs to be blue. Um, so the items will enter the blue slot. Um, that's going to be cobble, by the way. You can set that right now. Um, yellow is going to be cobble. Um, and this thing is going to run on coal. Um, it's pretty much self-renewing, because every time we get coal down there, it's going to fuel the system and store up any excess. So that's going to be really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, I've been interrupted again. <laughs> that is actually pretty fun. Um, yeah, it's been a while actually since the last recorded. Like a few hours, I had to do something. That That's fun. <laughs> oh wow, that villager is, is pretty good, man. He, he's, he's good. 
Alright, so there are items spitting out the end of this. Um, let's quickly fix that problem. Just add a couple chests. Ooh, these guys. Whoa, three, three angry zombies on with butter armor. That's crazy. I can't stop backing off, I'll die instantly. Okay, leave. Um, alright, let's put this cobblestone back in here. Okay, and let's get working again now. This is gonna be pretty wild, might get <laughs> my machines blown up a few times. So I placed a little nifty machine here, it's called an aqueous accumulator. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> aqueous, aqueous, um, same thing. Um, and pretty much what you do is you surround it with water, and I believe it just magically creates water. And you can, like, put that water in pipes and stuff, so... Yeah, let me quickly grab some buckets of water. Where's the nearest water source? Uh, I guess back there. Let's not pick up a zombie flesh again. Um, there is a little bit of oil. Uh, sorry. A little bit of oil here. Um, I might use that. I'm not sure. Hmm. I guess there's a... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, let's... Quickly surround this with water. I'm not exactly sure how these work. I've never made one before. It's one of the few blocks I haven't messed with. I thought it was cheaty, but I guess it's pretty much the most simple way to make a nice, fully automatic. Okay. I thought I was just reading chat there, so I'm gonna go grab some pipe waterproof so we can make some waterproof pipes. Generators actually aren't bad, they generate more than a single bad solar panel. So, yeah. Hmm, let's see. I'm looking for that cactus stuff. Okay, here it is. What you need to make waterproof pipe is just like that, and the pipe is waterproof. Let's make like 10. Dang it, you blew, blew up my nice path. Yeah, I prefer fully automatic power. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Eventually. Um, it's going to be a pretty slow start, to tell the truth, but slow starts usually mean better finishes. These things are about as good as diamond swords, they just don't last as long, these green sapphire swords. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> I don't have a whole issue. It's embarrassing to say, but I don't, so... So that's gonna pump out water into these hobbyists steam engines. So what we're gonna do now is as you, I, I said earlier, the coal is gonna kind of come out the top and hopefully items aren't popping out of that chest down there but okay so what we're gonna do is let's see. This might not be very easy, 
but you know, it's fun. Mm. I want to make this kind of look neat and organized. Good thing it's not a creeper. One zombie is fine, you can definitely just take those on head to head, no problem. Mm. Alright. So these need to be. Let's kind of rethink a bit. These should pump into the bottom of the hobbyist steam engines. I went one block too far, it looks like. So that's going to go into the bottom of the hobbyist steam engines. Any excess will come back out here. And into a barrel. And there's space to add more barrels in case I need. Get out of here. Kind of laggy. Um, it's kind of lagging because we have a Zycraft tank on the server here too. So that's where the extra coal is going to go. And this is where the cobble is going to go. And the output is going to be on the red. Um, I think we get gravel 10% of the time, so we're going to have to hook something up to that too. Um, and we're going to need some stone pipes, some smooth stone pipes. So let's go start cooking up some stone um, before we actually need it. Hello, creeper. How do you do? That was blocked just in case he ends up blowing up. Creepers do actually do a lot of damage. This FTV server is actually only on medium. Dang. <laughs> he killed the zombie like a boss. Yeah, I really hate fighting mobs. It just wrecks your armor. I should also put the larger stack of the beef away. Because in case I die with it and lose all my items, I don't want to have no more food. And I should put these apples away too. I actually just borrowed these apples from Max. Um, apple thing tree farm thing at the spawn. I think I'm lost. Like, I'm gonna be like the only one without official power after a while. But, slow and steady wins the race. And the fact that um, I'll be playing for the longest because I've got the least done, but I'll be most satisfied with what I have done. What we're talking about here is there's something called a coke oven. It makes something called coal coke. And you can use that in a blast furnace. Or you can use that um, just in a generator to make power. And it's four times more efficient than coal. But it also makes creosote oil. Which you can also use for power. And he's just discussing with me how he should make that work. So now we have stone pipe. Pretty much. Just need a crafting table around here. I hate how you can't drag or craft. It's like the end of the world. Um, let's make some more pipes. You know, stone pipes, like, they don't interfere with cobble pipes, which is why they're nice. No. Um, we could store the gravel here, too, until we need it. Um, where we might need it is for a rock crusher. Um, those things are super convenient. That's gonna be gravel. That's gonna be um, extra coal we get. Out here, switch back to cobblestone pipes. Oh, that's also stone pipe. Now that should go this way. Um, will that actually go that one on its own? Because it could try and go back in there. So, yeah, this needs to be an iron pipe actually. Um, whoa, 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 that's not good. Mm. Oops. Um, I'm thinking right now on what we can do to fix this slight problem. Or what we could do is we could. That doesn't work either. Uh, we could make the, the back of this. Let's see. Let's look from this perspective. We can make this the output slot. Nope, wrong thing. 
Let's see, that's blue right now. So is it that one? Yep. We can make that yellow. So now the eyes will just come out the back here. And then we can... So this still needs to be an iron pipe like that. But what we can do is we can put the iron pipe. Hmm, I don't want this to look bad. That's the main problem. I want it to look nice. Let's, let's rip out this barrel for now. Um, it's probably an item you're supposed to use the axe on. But... Oh, I just broke one of the steam engines. Okay, so what I want to do now is just a slight redesign so that these two pipes don't interfere with each other. And also, this is just so I can uh, add an iron pipe in here. Oh, we can put the iron pipe right here. Mm, but I... Yeah, that's... It's just not a lot of space where I'm working. Mm. We're gonna need to do some serious stuff with these pipes. Um, Alright, let's keep making this stone pipe go. Sorry, um, FDB and commentary sometimes don't work well together because you actually have to think because it's not like your usual vanilla we're all used to. Um, there's some mechanics you have to think about that aren't straightforward. So this is going to be the output for sand. Now I actually want this to be going the other way. Stone pipe again. And this shall be going to the induction smelter. Now let's put our induction smelter down. Uh, let's put it right here. This is going to need a hobbyist steam engine. Let's make a couple more waterproof pipes. Um, maybe I will make like four. I think that should be enough. And let's go boop boop. Mm. Okay, we actually only needed three. Um, where's our coal line? Coal is going to be coming from this gold pipe up here. No, the coal is going to be in this black pipe, right? Um, hmm. Let's make that run. Cobblestone pipe like this now the coal if it doesn't need if it's not needed it will run right past there um up around here and back down to the barrel now this is starting to become a mess of pipes already don't worry this is what it was supposed to be like and this shall all be covered now the induction smelter Let's see, the sand needs to go to the purple slot. Um, now the actual ore needs to go to the green slot. So, um, from our diamond pipe, which I think is getting a little bit busy, if you know what I mean, like there's starting to become a lot of things running from it. So let's add another diamond pipe. We're not that poor. We could afford another quarter of a diamond because that's how much each one of these pipes cost. Now, if you pretty much don't set anything for a diamond pipe, um, this is why I prefer diamond pipes over pneumatic pipes or buildcraft pipes, is because their, their logic is a lot more simple, and you can kind of program it with your logic instead of the built-in logic. Um, with, instead of the built-in intelligence, you can use your own, so that's what I like. So we can set any ore we need um, to go to the yellow and in here. Now the output slot is going to be two things. We're going to get slag and we're going to get the ores. Um, let's first of all make another iron chest um, because I'm pretty sure a regular chest won't be enough. So what we're going to do 
is we need, first of all, all the sand. We're not going to need nearly as much sand as we're making. Um, so any excess sand, um, and I'm just answering this question here, biogenerator. All right. So what we're gonna do? Hmm, let's carry the stone pipe up over here. Hmm. Ooh, this is really glitchy, actually. That needs to be one higher. Ah, this is why I hate messing around with pipes. Kind of. This would be easier with a jetpack. I'm just torturing myself, not giving myself one. And the server's lagging a whole bunch because the stupid XY tank is updating right now. Every minute, man. I hate that thing. Oh, also, sorry if I'm getting a little bit of FPS lag. Um, hopefully, you guys don't mind, but let's turn this down to like 50. Um, FDB is just a little bit more demanding on a computer than vanilla. Now, that should then come back down um, what we can use to transition from stone to regular or from stone to cobblestone is an iron pipe. How iron pipes work is pretty much they make all the items go in one direction. I just said the bad word. One direction is a swear word in case you didn't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but mm, pretty much Iron pipes just send all the items in one direction, and they also switch from. Uh, they can they connect to any pipe, so they just go to the white side, the light side like that. Now this is gonna be extra sand, uh, and the last thing we're gonna need a barrel for is the extra cobble, because I'm quite sure these pulverizers up here probably aren't gonna be able to keep up. Um, with the mount, with the turtles, pretty much. Almost any, I think. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that in case they can't keep up, the extra cobble is just gonna be piped into a chest. Um, or not a chest, a barrel, because the barrels are they're not better per amount, but they're just nice looking, and they kind of are simple and nice to use. So that's pretty much all the, the safeties. Now, I think it's going to be mostly functional now. Uh, let's see, have I missed anything? Oh yeah, I have to, obviously. <laughs> I forgot the... Obviously, I'm going to need to turn on the steam engines, and I need to set these diamond pipes, so let's grab some ore. I think I have some of everything. Wow, so helpful. <laughs> like, I don't have a, the, I guess he has like the wiki or something built into the game. I don't need that, I'm too smart for that, no, just kidding. Uh, that kind of would be a good idea, but I think I'm good. What what do we come here for? Oh yeah, to grab the ores we need. We'll need an iron. We'll need tin. Um, we'll need a silver. We'll need copper. We'll need lead. We don't have any ferrous on us. We can add that later. Um, these are the main ores that need to be smelted. Whoops. Accidentally clicked the bed there, and I have to close the door really quickly. But sometimes I can get that to where I just open the door and close it without moving my mouse, but it's kind of hard with all this lag and getting well recorded. Alrighty, guys. So what we're going to do now is, A, we can set the diamond pipe here. So we're going to want all these things. They're ghosts, so. Um, to go here. And we're gonna just want to test this thing. Uh, okay, that has the cobble and the coal. Um, 
Let's replace this with a diamond pipe. Um, and what we're gonna want actually is items are gonna randomly come up here. So before they do, we'll say we only want this, 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 dish, and this to come up. We want coal to come up, and we want cobble. So, yeah. So now all the cobble should start going to white. Yep, yep, yep. And, ooh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, it, it saves. So when I put that back, it'll start working. Now, update and start going the right way again. Come on, game. Okay, there we go. Is now we need to find a way to turn everything on at the same time. Wow, these things are filling up quick. That turtle man is working hard. He's working hard. Um, Alright, what we're going to need to do now is we need to turn all the engines on in a nice fashion. Now, this is all going to be hidden anyway, but I want pretty much an on-off switch for this. Because I don't want to be burning coal for no reason. I w if, if there's no need to, to use coal, I don't want to, so... I want pretty much a lever to control the engines on and off. Uh, I need more cobblestone. That sounds really derpy. I need more cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a surprising amount of times which I run out of cobblestone. It's a really funny thing to run out of because you're just like, uh, yeah, I kind of ran out of cobble, so I can't do that. <laughs> it's funny. Now, how can I run redstone up there? There's so many pipes. I don't know how I can get a redstone signal on top of these engines. I guess I can move this pipe out of the way. It's going to be covered up behind a wall anyway, so it doesn't matter if this pipe has a droopy ass shape. Alright. Now we just need a lever and a redstone. I talk about redstone as if it's like a single redstone. <laughs> I'm going to need some more redstone, and I'm going to need a lever. Oh, there's so many zombies everywhere. I wonder if Jake has a plan. I could really just turn and flee, but... I don't know, it seems a little bit more awesome than just fleeing. Oh gosh, you hit me twice, you're a bad zombie. By the way, it looks like I have such a long reach because I'm playing FOV. Quake Pro, I believe, so... I can't even tell anymore, it's just due to what I'm playing on. <laughs> Alright. So I came here to grab a lever, or something for a lever. Um, and redstone, the more important part. Now, redstone is actually kind of rare in FDB compared to vanilla. Like, it's not quite as common. Mm. In vanilla, the ratio of redstone to diamond I find, just from mining experience, is about 8 to 1, um, but here it's around 4 to 1 from what I can tell. This might not be accurate, it might be silly luck or something, but I find diamonds way more easily on here than I do in vanilla, so. That should turn the steam engine on, theoretically. Um, but just let's let's start them off with some coal, and let's connect the pipe. Let's start by connecting the pipe. Good old pipes. Dang it. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can pick it up. Oh well, they'll live down there forever <laughs> until he despawns. Hey, uh, all right. Let's see if it recovered the what the. Yep, it recovered my settings. Now the items will eventually start going through there and. Let's start all the engines up by adding a couple pieces of coal. Um, they should automatically fill with water. Oh, Mac came too. And we'll see if anything malfunctions while we're here. Um, this is the most important part, so let's start that up too. Alright, so we should start to see these engines going soon. And we'll just monitor it until we 
pretty much find that it's working properly. Now, this hasn't started up yet. The cobblestone, as you can see, is building up. Some is probably already going to that barrel. Mm, look, we get a piece of iron coming down here. Oh, that's something I didn't think of. Um, if there's no space for the iron, I want it to filter back into the system. Or whatever ore it might be, because... Mm, as we know, uh, like the capacity, um, it, it can only hold one thing at a time, right? Um, so... Iron pipe, iron pipe, come on, come on. Uh, okay, that's gonna start to get messed up if we don't do that quickly. And that's gonna go around to there, so... In case any iron comes, and like, there's an iron, let's say there's a piece of iron here. That should not be there, that is a malfunction. Why is that so? Let's find out. Okay, how did a piece of cobblestone... Math is popular. <laughs> Alright, when <laughs> he joins, everyone joins. Alright, so, how, how does this work? Mm. Where's the cobble coming from? Ah, that's not supposed to be connected here. I think that's an extra pipe there. Yeah, 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 everything still should work. Oh yeah, the output slot is also red. Um, so let's configure that right now. It's blue. Is that right? Yeah. Alright, so now the sand should start coming into here. Alrighty. Very nice. And the iron is smelted, so that part's working. It is working, guys. Oh, everybody's leaving and joining so much and getting confused and who's on and off. So, yeah, five guys on. That's pretty good. Mm. FTP server is so much more active than the vanilla server. <laughs> we had seven guys on earlier. Oh, I think this is working well, guys. This is our little auto smelting thingy. Um, it'll also make sand for us. Sand, as you know, is probably a very useful item in the game. And we're getting gravel which we can very eventually pound up into sand too now. Let's look at the uses for sand, because we're going to have so much of that in the future. Oh, right click. Um, when you right click an object, it tells you the uses. We can make TNT, that's obviously an important one. We can make coke oven bricks. Um, coke oven bricks. We can make bog earth. Um, that's actually really cool, because peat is really efficient. Um, water cell, how else can you craft bog earth? Um, water bucket, um, so, hmm, how else can you make bog earth? You can make it into carpenter, with mulch, uh, whoops, no, how do I get to bog earth? No, I can make bog earth with sand, so, I know how to get dirt, automatically you need to master the plant ball, that's not hard at all, um, hopefully pulverizing works too, carpenter, uh, Oh, dang it, the only way to use the carpenter is to use mulch. And mulch comes from spoiled comb. Um, squeezing cherries. Walnuts. Alright, so that's not going to work out. Eh. Like, I know these capsules are pretty cheap. I don't think I can do it, guys. Uh, we'll have to find another use for our sand. This is pretty much how I figured out how to make all my automated machines. It's just looking to see how you can make things, and you'll discover some pretty cool things after a while. Uh, so that's all the things you can craft out of it. You can craft fertilizer, yeah, yeah. But you can't get this stuff automatically, so it's useless. Uh, we can make fertilizer again, like this. Um... You can make glass, you can make silicon boodle. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, I was like, what the hell is he talking about? Oh, now we have to go through our sand recipes again. Wait for it to load, guys. Be patient. Alright. Um, induction smelter, yeah, that's what we're using it for right now. Don't know what that's for. Sandstone, yes, yes, that's one thing I'll need it for. Um, if you pulverize sandstone, you'll actually get some really useful stuff. 
um, so we can set that up later. That's useful too, we'll do that. Yeah, that's an industrial electrolyzer. You can get silicon cells and sand and compressed air. 25 EU per tick, that's really nice and cheap too, huh? Mm. Alright, so sand is pretty useful. As we saw, most of them I already discovered before. I did, they didn't add any new uses for sand, sadly. This place is really annoying to get out of, actually. Oh well, another lost pipe. So stuff all seems to be working. Let's go to the front and check. Uh, we got our gravel. There is sand falling on the ground. That is bad. That means we messed something up, sadly, guys. Let's go look. Um, yeah, our extra sand is going to a barrel with a couple cobblestone in it because we accidentally messed up at the beginning. Remember, guys? So that's fine. We fixed that problem now. Um, now, yeah, how do you put items in a barrel? Alright, there we go. So now this thing is working. Um, the chunks are loaded. This thing's always going to be working. Um, we might want to add some extra storage for cobble. As you can see, it's already getting uh, pretty tight in the storage. So let's just continue extending that this way. Alright guys, that's um, triple the storage that we had before pretty much. And yeah, so let's just watch this thing run for a while because it is cool in my opinion. I love these automated things in FQB, that's why I play. By the way, this took almost an hour to get ready for, so all the materials took a while to gather. But this should help with material gathering, pretty much. Oh yeah, where does the output actually go? Oh wait, did I not make output? Herp de derp de me. I am dirty. <laughs> I actually forgot, guys, to um, actually hook the output up to something. So all my items are just going nowhere. Um, hmm. Where's the output slot anyway? It's there. You can always configure it to the bottom. There we go. Um, plop. <laughs> uh, let's break this craft table. Um... And this is where my valuable stuff is going to be stored, I guess. Now, I have space to expand that this way. Hmm, I shouldn't put that there, actually. That's a bad idea. Because later, when I'm more tight on space, I'll need area to expand my sand to, and I don't want that to be just cut off like that. And also, I'll need to expand this, so I'll put that right in the middle there. And let's put the stuff we got in there. Now, we need to eventually add ferrous to that thing, too. But this should pretty much use most of our resources. This should be enough space for all the gravel, sand, and other junk we get from now on. Mm, let's just see how our turtle's doing down here as well. No. Oh shit, this is gonna kill me. Ouch. Um, that is kind of scary, actually. Because um, a lot of things could one hit me right now. Such as a magma. The turtle could probably kill me. Turtles actually kill anything they encounter. Um, so let's try adding these guys in. And see if they process. Let's grab that too. And my fortune too. By the way, I got a really nice pick with all the enchants on it. How are you doing, turtle? Mm, he might run out of fuel by diamond level, but that's no problem. He'll work hard. You're a hard working turtle, you know that, right? You're good, you're good, Cory One. I named this turtle Cory One, by the way. You're doing a good job, Cory One. <laughs> Alright. I love turtles, man. They're, they're the thing that make FTB awesome. Oh, I think I know why turtles lose their picks. I think it's just a glitch that happens when um, chunks unload in a certain way. Um, 
和挖挖起我们。He types faster than me. <laughs> um, you need a prototype. I'm gonna actually make one of those fully automatically. Um, pretty much supports itself. No. Um, actually, let's take a look at that before we end this episode. Um, I know if you you could you guys probably mostly left once this thing was done. Um, but let's see how um, we're gonna do this. No, I actually need a quick memory recap on how to do this. So let's look at biomass. This is what we're going to be using for our power. No, okay. I think what we're going to be looking at is compost. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to set that up probably next episode or the episode after that. Uh, um... Still running? Not a cool. Hmm, let's let's put some coal on this. It should be able to support itself. It's just we haven't hit a coal pocket for a while, which is rather unlucky. No. Let's put some in there. Um, eventually I'm gonna set the thing, um, what, what Jake is doing right now, fully automatically, it's gonna create tons of power, um, based on something that's not running on solar or lava, but it's essentially gonna make lava in the future, um, and we'll see why. Now, we're gonna start up again, once you heat up, you're gonna start pumping power, and this thing's gonna start working again. Um, I'm pretty sure we're getting more than enough sand, too, so we can eventually use that to make stuff we need. Uh, I don't know what, but... Hmm. Okay, wait, once again, let's look at what sand does, because I forgot. I'm forgetful. I just want to satisfy my curiosity. Um. Oh, right, 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 right. Here. We're going to make sandstone for a nighter. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.